Hello and welcome back to Civil Field Trainers. My name is Shadab. So here we have a simple project here. Okay, it's a G plus three structure, and uh, this particular column is failing. Okay, the reason why I take up uh, this particular uh, project to explain to you this concept is because see, uh, if you just uh, let me just select the columns first for us. Let me go for object type. Let me just select the columns here. Okay, show select objects only. All right. So if you see here. Uh, if I open up any of these uh, columns, you can see that it is safe. Okay, in both dead load library 1.5 times of dead load 1.5 times of uh, sorry dead load library normal case and uh, the factor and factored case, it is safe. Okay, but only this particular column is failing. And even if you see the amount of reinforcement that you are getting, if I just go to options and graphic preferences and increase the size a little bit, okay, <laughs> you can see that here only these two columns are failing. Okay. So in dead load lightwood case, almost all the columns are safe except this predator column. So this failure, which are, this failure is, it is not due to the actual loads. It is due to the moments that are coming out of this column. Okay. So many a times what happens is, whenever your columns are filling due to high amount of moment, how do you make it safe? Okay. Either you can change the orientation of this particular column, but that is not possible because if you see the longer beam is coming in this direction only. Okay. Or what you can do is you can change the location of it. If you come and see here in this particular uh, given project the distance between this column and this column approximate distance i'm gonna say is about 22 feet okay it's up uh, it's almost like putting two 10 by 10 rooms side by side all right that's how long this beam is okay but what i want to do is i want to decrease the size over here so what i'll do instead of giving it 22 feet i'll try to move this column over here on this grid point okay now when you want to do something like this you have to take the prior permission from your client and you have to take the permission from your architect as well okay if you come and see the plan version of this see the, the they have put a column in the kitchen area what i want to do is see anyone no one is going to put dining table uh, right next to the staircase just move this they have just it for representation purposes okay this is the dining hall so what my idea is i just move this column some somewhere over here and this part is there right we can construct a wall or something over here and uh, we can make it some decor decorative piece or something over here okay again for this you have to get the permission from your client and your architect if they don't agree for it at least if you can move it somewhere also just try to do that okay so instead of increasing the length or width of this okay what because if you see there's an opening here also there are windows and everything so instead of increasing the length or the width what i tend to do is i want to relocate this column okay so let me just come over here back to etabs and i want to change this column location to this particular grid point so how do i do how do i do that first i have to unlock the model after unlocking the model what i'll do i'll just use this option all story option i'll just select this column okay so on, from bottom to, uh, some, uh, bottom to top everything will get selected then i'll go for edit all right then i'll go for the move command here okay then i'll just pick two points in the model i just pick this point and i'll pick this point and click on apply okay either you can do this or just delete the entire at entirety of the column and redraw the column no problem okay so i'm still in all series option and if you see here this particular uh, beam is completely going from here to here let me just uh, turn on the section let me click on apply and you can see here this beam 230 cross 600 beam is going from this column to this column but i want this beam to break in the middle so how do i break it in the middle i have to just select this uh, particular column and then select this beam on all the floors and i'll go to edit i'll go to edit frames i'll go to divide frames okay so basically what i'm doing let's do a very quick recap over here i'll repeat the steps if you're if you're not able to follow this column this particular column is filling in moments okay everything else is safe in dead load and live load and i'm going to point five times the dead plus live load only this one is failing okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this column from this position to this position to do this you need permission from your client and architect okay this is one of the uh, proposals that i'm giving it to you if you want you can even increase the size and see if it is safe or not okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just i've just moved the column now because i have moved the column i have to break the beam okay whatever the load is there the load has to, go to, has to go to this column and this column okay instead of going to this column and this column okay so i have to break this particular beam so i'll go to edit i'll go to edit i'll go to edit frames i'll go to divide frames okay break an intersection click on apply and click on okay so you can see it become 230 cross 600 separately all right same thing i have to do here also if you see the beam is too long so I'll just select all of the all stories. I'm still active. I select this. I'll delete this beam. I'll redraw them. Same thing here. I'll redraw them. Okay. So I'll just go to this option. 
uh, it was two thirty cards four fifty I believe. Okay, so I can just, I can just click over here and click on here. Then I can click here and I can click here. Okay, so like this you can redraw the complete beams. Okay, so we have uh, split the beams here and we have redrawn it. Whatever we are doing is because we have moved the column. Other, other thing that you can notice is this beam which is there, it has too, too high a value, 230 cross 600, which is 3.17 meters, approximately 10 feet. Okay, so it's a very thick beam, I would say. So what I'll do is I'll just select this in all stories again. Then I'll go to assign frame section property. In this I'll assign the smaller section to it. Okay. So after doing all of this, I have moved my column and everything. Let's rerun the analysis and see if it is coming safe or not. All right. So what did we do? We just took this column from this position and we moved it to this position to this grid. If you can want to move it somewhere over here, you can move it over here also, no problem. After doing which, I have broken the beam, this particular beam I have broken and I have redrawn these two beams. Okay, so let me just rerun the analysis and we'll redo the design part as well. Okay, so let me just come over here and let me go for verify all members passed and you can see all the concrete members have passed. This is how we can make a per given uh, column safe, okay, by uh, just changing the location by, uh, by a couple of feet. Once this step is done, I'll go for the percentage also, open this, and in this I'll check total rebar percentage, click on apply, and click on OK. Okay, so this is basically how we can do the entire work. One more thing that I forgot to do is, just unlock this model, because I have redraw these beams, I have to apply the loads on them again. Let me just select all stories, let me just select this one and this one, okay. Let me go to assign frame loads distributed. I think the load was around six. Click on apply and click on OK. So I'll do one more thing. I'll just uh, turn off this. Uh, right, let it be there for now. Okay. So this is what we have now. And if you see the loads that we have applied, for instance, in plaster load we have. Okay. All these loads we have applied. And uh, let me just open this also. You can see the loads are there. And if you go for load combinations, we have got two combinations that are 1.5 times in uh, data plus load. So let me rerun the analysis again. Okay. So after applying the load, everything is coming safe. All right. So that's all for this class. If you want to make a given uh, column safe, you can increase the moment of it by just moving the column from this position to a little bit further. All right. So if you understand this class as an if like our teaching, you can come and check out our content over here. See, it has been safe for 799 right now. And for next 72 hours, ETAP safe and our series will be available for 999. And again, uh, SAP 2000 is also there in th inside this. If I go for content, you can see in the bonus section, you will find SAP 2000. Okay. So ETAP safe and our series plus SAP 2000 will cost you 999 rupees. ETAP and safe will cost you 799. Okay. 72 hours after that, the price will go to back to 1599 rupees. Okay. So that's all for this class. See you guys in the next class. Thank you.